Hey y'all, it's me Emma from The Rice Life and I'm here to tell you all about my The God Box experience yesterday y'all. It was absolutely amazing. Um, Zaire actually, well, I don't know where to start, let's see. So, I started following David Banner like pretty heavy like maybe a little over a year ago and um, I remember just uh, just being, you know, fascinated by his message and what he had to say and all that kind of stuff, and just kind of, you know, trickled down from there. And um, you know, I just started following more and just, you know, see what he was all about, pretty much. And so, I remember telling my best friend Jordan in January. I told Jordan, I said, I'm gonna meet David Banner this year. <laughs> That's a random thing to say, but I just like I spoke it. I was, I'm gonna meet him this year. Like that'd be so cool. And so I remember telling her that in January, and I never thought about it again. I never even, you know, and there's kind of in the background. I never knew how it would happen. You know what would happen, but um. And there's Kane. <laughs> so um, I just said I'm gonna meet him this year, and that was like the beginning of January, and that was that. And so, um, uh, like I said, you know, I've been following him for a while. And Zaire, my twin sister, she actually um, she messaged me like a little over a month ago, I think. And uh, she texted me. She's like, "Oh my God, you know, David Banner's gonna be in Charleston on the 16th. Do you want to go?" And of course, I was like, "Yeah, like what in the world?" And um, so we went ahead and got our tickets and. Uh, we went and so um, we attended his The God Box lecture series yesterday and it was absolutely wonderful guys. Um, I don't even know where to start. Um, he did not want us to record because he you know pretty much wanted us to be like you know inundated by his message and not really distracted by social media and all that kind of stuff so I wasn't able to record uh, pr honestly anything besides him like I think walking in or something maybe and maybe like a few little introductory things that he did but I didn't record anything and I'm so glad that he didn't want us to record because I feel like it just sunk in a lot more and uh, people were just able to really um, understand the message better without the distraction of technology so um, I will show y'all a clip of like the couple of clips that I do have I'll insert them here I'm from the country I'm not used to this life as much as y'all had to fight to make this happen y'all can't give me no more love than that Yeah, guys, so um, like I said, the lecture was absolutely amazing. There's no way in the world I can even begin to touch on half of the things that he discussed. Um, for me, it wasn't, I'm not going to say it wasn't eye opening for me. Um, I felt we have a lot of the same views, so it was pretty much like kind of confirmation in how I've been feeling, especially lately. Uh, his lecture is more of a confirmation for me than anything because. Um, there wasn't too much stuff that I didn't agree with. I mean, I know his, you know, you're not going to agree 100% with what everyone has to say. That's that's a given. I'm sure y'all don't agree with half the things that I say. But, um, like I said, our, our, um, our ideologies and our thought process is kind of, you know, it's pretty similar. So, I just, um, I just took his lectures like confirmation for me. And, um, yeah, I would definitely suggest you guys, I mean, we're on YouTube, guys, <laughs> uh, just YouTube David Banner and just start from there if you're interested. Um, I'm sure you all know him from, like, you know, his songs and, you know, him, he was, he's a rapper, uh, I guess, turn activist, I'm, I'm guessing I could say. And so, um, but a lot of people, like, even when I put up the picture, like, oh, I met him and everything on Facebook, everyone's like, oh, that's David Banner, you know, like a pimp David Banner. And I was like, no, it's, I mean, he is like a pimp David Banner, but he, um, He's not like a pimp David Banner anymore. So, um, so yeah, so like I said, just type in David Banner. Just like watch some of the, watch some of his interviews. Like I said, I don't think that a lot of people will agree 100% with what he says. Like I said, I don't agree 100% with a lot of things he says. But uh, I feel like you can't knock the man for commanding your attention, like commanding an audience and demanding respect and just seeing what he's got to say and being just... Unapolo <laughs> being unapologetically black and just unapologetically here for you know just here to combat injustice so uh that's the main takeaway for me um you know he's just here to empower disenfranchised people and i'm here for it okay so um y'all the lecture was absolutely amazing like i said i could go into a lot of the talking points but i'd honestly love for you to just um you know, find out if there's going to be a lecture in your area. I mean, ours was in Charleston, the one that was in my area, and I drove four hours there, and I do not regret driving four hours there, guys. Um, so, like I said, I would suggest for, for, that you just look up some of his interviews and things, just see, you know, 
what he has to say and then um if the god box series or the god box lectures in your area then definitely go to it and like i said just go with an open mind and just like leave your emotions at the door because um he definitely touches on a lot of things that um a lot of people won't agree with if you're just if you're thinking more with your emotions rather than actual just you know logically and just um you know leaving your emotions at the door and so um like i said he's not for everybody <laughs> and that's okay but if you're interested in his lecture and all that guys and just youtube david banner and i'm sure you'll find, find a plethora of i mean a ton of stuff y'all that's what i've been doing for a while and um yeah so i had a really awesome time and uh we got to meet him afterward it was like a brief second we got to meet him we took pictures with him and um yeah, so I took a picture with him and then he reposted it on his Instagram, which I thought was pretty cool. So <laughs> I fangirl for like three and a half seconds, guys. Um, so if you go on his Instagram, that's pretty cool. You'll see me up there. I was featured on his Instagram, so I thought that was kind of awesome. And like I said, it was just a really nice night of just like, of empowerment, of just like camaraderie, of just like, um, you know, just a collective, just, just, it was just good, y'all. It was just really good. And... Uh, it was a packed house, guys. Like, Zaya and I, we drove four, I drove four hours. She drove three hours. And we got a front row seat, guys. It was like a reserved. It was like the front row was reserved. And then we were in the second row. So, we just thought that was really cool. So, we waited for like an hour and a half. We just sat there and waited. But I'm so glad that we got there early because we got the best seats. And um, he was just, like I said, guys, really engaging, really motivating, really empowering. He definitely, like I said, he's not for everyone. So, I'm just going to keep throwing that out there. He's not for everyone. But, uh he's for me like I'm I'm down so <laughs> so like I said guys I would definitely encourage you if you're interested to just YouTube him and see what he's all about like I said you don't have to agree with everything he says but you can't knock him for just wanting to see change and for wanting to empower people so uh yeah so that is my takeaway um any questions whatever guys leave them below and I will answer them to the best of my ability and I would highly recommend that you find a the god box lecture uh whatever in your area like when it comes to your area guys make sure that you go it was definitely worth the money and it was worth the trip so all right y'all this is emerald from the rice life and i will see y'all in our next video bye y'all like and subscribe join us for the ride